Hi folks, in this video, I explain how to use the proof machine. The proof machine is an automatic proof checker, which allows you to enter sentences and justifications into a formal proof space, and then check to see whether or not those are correct applications of our introduction and elimination rules. For example, let's say that I started out with a premise not not P, and I want to infer the sentence P. If I use the negation elim rule in sight line one, you'll see the button turns green when I check that line, telling me that that is a correct application of negation elim. If something had gone wrong, for example, I tried to apply negation elim to a single negation, then the line, the button turns red and the message area is giving me some feedback explaining what's gone wrong, allowing me to learn from my mistakes. What we're looking at here is sandbox mode where I'm allowed to add premises. So you can use this mode to check any proof that you choose. You can enter whatever premises you want, as many lines as premises and any conclusion that you're trying to get to. Another version of the proof machine, however, has the premises and the conclusion fixed. So you see that I can no longer edit this premise field and my conclusion down here is also given for me. So what I have to do now is just figure out how to get to P and, from P and Q to Q and P. For example, I'll just use the conjunction elim rule a couple of times to bring down those conjuncts that I want, like P and Q. Then all I need to do is justify my final conclusion. I'll use the conjunction intro rule here on two and three, and you'll see that this entire proof is now going to check out and it's gonna tell me that I've gotten to that conclusion. It's also important to realize how to use the subproof buttons. So let me give you another example. Let's say that I have a wide scope disjunction as my premise and I need to use subproofs to do proof by cases here. The sub, in order to create a subproof, what I do is I use the subproof button over here. And here I can put in my first assumption, my first uh, disjunct, not not P. Then I'm gonna do negation elim on that to get uh, the sentence P. What I'm going to do is try to prove P in both of these subproofs. Now, after I've proven P in the first subproof, I need another subproof and I can prove P and Q so I'll create another assumption. And you'll notice once I make the second assumption, my subproof line here is automatically colored differently. So I can see the extent or the scope of these subproofs by looking at the coloration. The subproofs are grouped by colors. So here I can prove P by conjunction elim in this subproof. And now finally that allows me to use disjunction elim citing line one, and then my subproofs 2-3 and 4-5. So the coloration can help you see and keep track of how big each subproof is, which also allows you to um, correct some of your mistakes or figure out how those justifications can go. Now, there are shortcuts built into the proof machine to try to make your life easier. So instead of just pressing the subproof button to add subproofs, you can also use the key. Remember for subproofs, what we use is the uh, the bar, the vertical bar stroke, which is the same as the backslash. So if I push the back backslash button, that just adds subproofs to that line. And if you use shift and the backslash button, that then subtracts those subproofs. So all of the buttons have shortcuts, which allows you to move through the formal proof space faster. For example, just to check any line, instead of going here and clicking the button, I can just hit the enter, the return key, and that will check the line automatically for me. So if you ever forget what those keyboard shortcuts are, you can just click this button up here and that will remind you. Okay, that's the basics of how to use the formal uh, proof machine. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and can use it as a learning device. Thanks.